Welcome back to the tech space guys and in this video what we're going to be going over is how to create your view model in Counter-Strike. Now what you're going to want to do is go to the description and for the view model what you're going to want to do is click on that link I provided in the description, load that page up and let's go through this tutorial. So the link to the view model generator will be in the description below and what you're going to want to do is just come to this page right here and click subscribe. Once you subscribe to it you just go click out of this and go back to your Counter-Strike game. Alright, now we're back in our game. Uh, you're going to want to do is click on Play CSGO here, go to this drop down list and click Workshop Maps. You'll have the Crashes View Model Generator. Click on it and click Go. Click Go again and wait for this to load up and we'll go over how to create your view model. Alright, so now we're in the View Model Generator. We're going to go ahead and click on any team you want and this is how you do it so you have your your um options obviously right here um the options i like to use is view model movement obviously that's the amount of movement or like walking movement that your your person has when he's walking back and forth so like if i put on highest you can see it bounces around a lot because it's like replicating uh, a real life situation i keep it on low so you really can't tell that you're walking and that just you know makes it not jump around as much um, you have your uh, forward and backwards, so you can put it all the way up or all the way towards your body, and that moves again the position of the gun forward or backward. Then we have left and right, all the way to the right, all the way to the left, and we have let's do this, and then all the way down and all the way up. So you basically just mess with these settings. I like to keep mine like let's say right here and all the way forward, and then. I put all the way to the right and then I go over to the left like a little bit like right here and then we'll go ahead as you guys can see this is the view model I use and I use desktop as a preset position and I also have these ones over here and you can like use their preset view models just by different people and you can try these ones out as well that way you don't have to mess with the settings and then you can turn around and you know just see how it works and then once you're done all you have to do is come over here click show commands and copy everything right here you're just going to highlight it all right click it click copy or you can click control c and copy it either way then exit out by the way if you don't have this screen you're going to want to go to your csgo options let's see or your settings menu, click escape, go to settings, go to game settings, at the top it says right here, enable developer console, click yes. We're going to go back to the game, but then once you have that on, click show commands and this menu will pop up. You copy all this and we're going to get out of CSGO, go back to your Steam application. All right, once you're out of Steam, all you're going to want to do is, I mean, out of CSGO, all you're going to want to do is come back to the Steam client, and from the Steam client, what you're going to do is right-click on CSGO, or Counter-Strike, the name right here, go to Properties, and then you're going to want to go to Local Files, go to Browse Local Files, get this menu here, and then we're going to click CSGO. At the top here, the second folder should say CFG. Click on that. And what we do from here is we create a auto config file. So if you grab this config.360 file and copy it, and we'll go ahead and drag that to our desktop. Okay, now you can see it right here. And we have our config file. Um, we're going to take everything in this config.360 file, delete it, click save, and then save it as autoconfig.cfg. And once you do that, just save it to like the desktop or something. And then once you save it to the desktop, you can see right here, I have the autoconfig file that I just created. You can delete the original. Uh, config.360 so now we have the auto config file created we have it on our desktop you can see it's just a text file just take the view model code that we had from the game and click paste we have the view model saved in here 
then what we do is just click save and you can take this close it and you see this file right here what we're going to want to do is go back to where we just were inside of that folder if you don't remember you just go to csgo properties local files browse local files then you click csgo config and then we take this file and throw it into this folder I already have one so I'm not going to go ahead and replace it so we're going to say don't move but you would just take autoconfig.cfg and throw it into this folder right here and that's it so then what you do when you start up counter strike is we'll close this out really quick so now that the autoconfig file is created all you do is go to um, steam go to counter strike right click on it properties go right here under general to set launch options click on it when this window pops up you type in plus exec or exec then a space then type auto config the name of the file that we just created dot cfg and then click ok and then now when the game starts that view model and any um, other commands that you have inside the auto config file will start with the game all right so that's it guys that's how you make your view model um that's how you get it set up that's how you put it into your auto config file and get it loaded into csgo um if you want to check out my other videos like on configs fps boosts um all the different types of stuff about counter-strike and uh, additional technology videos check out my channel click subscribe like this video and if you have any questions post it in the comment section below other than that i'll see you guys next time